Hello, Days for Lives fans. It is finally Friday, March the 29th. Okay, so the uh, christening continues. We've got the whole gang there. Everyone's there. Um, the baby has already been christening. They're wrapping up the prayers. And uh, Leo, of course, as we saw yesterday, he comes out. I can't, I can't, I got to say something. He ends up wrestling with it and then saying that he hopes everyone didn't doesn't mind getting their picture taken because he wants to put that in the spectator. Everyone is um, mingling. Holly ends up coming clean with Eric. She's crying. She tells him the drugs are hers. He promises not to tell, but he encourages her to come clean. John is still wrestling with the fact he, he killed Constantine's daughter. He doesn't even want to be at the church. Sloan and Miranda, uh, Melinda, uh, they are going off on Leo, reminded him how they all three will go to jail. And he said he was in the church. The spirit moved him. You know. So then we move on to the uh, reception, which, of course, Nicole and EJ are giving, and there everyone is at the reception. Here Nicole is stepping on everyone's toes again, taking over that baby. Of course, she doesn't know it's her real baby. Meanwhile, Holly is sneaking glasses of wine and champagne and going outside and sipping them. Leo saw her, and later in the after in the day, Eric seen her picking one up. So there we go. Uh, she goes outside and she tries to call Tate. And pretends to be his mother, but his mother was visiting with him, and Teresa gets on the phone. She is furious. She talks to Tate and says, was that Holly? And he says, yes. And she, she said, how many times has she called you here before, has she? He said, just once. And she said, "Are you? do you want to go to jail? You have a restraining order. She is bent out of shape. Then at the reception, Brady and EJ get into it in a little bit, and Holly ends up telling everyone, telling her parents and everyone, those were not Tate's drugs. Those were her drugs. He didn't do anything. And that's a wrap for It's Finally Friday.